We have landed in the island of uh, Mallorca. Oh, is that us? 42? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Literally. Thank you, Marco. So we're going to A42. Apparently this bus will take us to the academy. It's about an hour away, which is crazy. Man. Hopefully we'll get there on time so we can just start doing some training right away. As I mentioned, this is the Rafael Nadal school. Um, primary school, cannot take photos inside. That makes sense. But uh, this is where, after you play tennis, you come to the school and you learn chemistry or AP math. Right, Marco? Are you gonna send your kids here? Are you gonna send yourself here? Learn some chemistry. Absolutely. <laughs> Do it all over you. Uh, look, pretty nice TV to watch US Open. This is where this is September. It's US Open time. Balcony, pretty good. Hang out, bare land, but inside is it's really beautiful. And here, here we have look, Woo. toiletries. Toiletries, exactly, exactly. Pretty big. Toilet facility, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty big. Woo. All right. So this is where we're gonna be here for the next week. Um, gonna play tennis. Do some work and more tennis. All right, so lunch is not included as our package. You have to pay, but this is our menu. Um, it's a la carte. It's not buffet. I think dinner is buffet. Anyway, starters, salad, main dish, and uh, some some pizza, some pasta. Yeah, kids menu. Yeah, for Marco. That's for yeah, kids. Exactly. Desserts. So yeah, well it turns out that uh, our luck is pretty good, that uh, we actually have the Challenger final in Mallorca is happening. It's pretty crowded right now. Alright, Marco and I are literally on our way to our first tennis hitting session. This is not the one with the lesson, this is just us playing around, hitting around, we're gonna try it out. Uh, we get to have one free hour per day, so we're gonna use it right now before the day ends. And we're playing on a clay court, red clay, so uh, hopefully our shoes will still be intact after that. 40, let's go. Woo. All right, here it is. We feel like a very important person playing here. VIP. VIP. Yeah. Oh, they even give you like a hose for you to water it in case the dust start coming up. Here you go. Waking up early morning, trying to get some breakfast and start our program. Don't know where breakfast is. Breakfast is here. Restaurant. 7.30. Should be here. Let's eat. Last time we got kicked out. Well, not really kicked out. Just went to the wrong place. Pretty much standard. Um, breakfast. Here it is. What we got? Some juice. Orange juice. Can't wait what the program is going to offer us. How many people do you think there are? 20? Okay. One more. One more. Uh, program. <coughs> yeah. What do you think? Are you excited for this? Are you excited for hitting some forehands and backhands? Smash. So first of all, welcome to the Rafa Nadal Academy. My name is Bernard and he is Noel. 
Lombo, uh, World Year Organizing the Adult Tennis and Battle Programs. Uh, usually it's a good 20-30 minutes warm-up depending on the day and then we follow, we start with the drills. Uh, hand feeding, racket feeding, sometimes we keep playing with the coach as well. Serve. We just finished our first session, it's a clay court session, I uh, play like crap, uh, I don't know, it's just not good. And uh, right now this is the aftermath, there are probably like, maybe like 40 or 20 people, and at the end we have to sweep. Look at this, professional, professional. professionally done. Okay. Look at that, look at the consistency, look at the consistency, look at that, it's like magic, it's like magic. Uh, I'm like literally stepping on top of what you just <laughs> This is paddle, not to be confused with pickleball because you can bounce off from the glass. Yeah, see glass and then go. That's why there's a glass. It's kind of like it's kind of like squash and tennis combined together. That's paddle. All right, so uh, yeah, we continue our journey of this uh, Rafael Nadal Tennis Academy. Um, pretty much Marco and I are dead already. Every day we wake up and we question ourselves why we signed up for this. Uh, we feel like our shoulders are dislocated and everything is just hard, it's just difficult. It's really hot. Uh, we just finished our session and now we are on the bike cooling activity. Um, yeah, you pretty much see like all the professional tennis players, they do that all the time. After playing a match, they go on a bike. They do it for like five, 10 minutes. That's what we're doing right now. And then lying is not to be steroids. Lying. <laughs> <laughs> doing some night tennis um, and uh, try to get our mojo back sorry yep um, yeah try to play some hard courts oh, no. they didn't even turn the lights on, right? seriously well, yeah. we have to go back we have to go back Okay, yeah, this is this is not the first time that they do this. That they did not turn the lights on. Filling up water time. There are certain water stations. Well, I should say water stations are scattered throughout the academy, but some of them actually don't work. So let's test out to see if this one works. Let's see. Nope. Let's do it right here. Oh yes! Okay, at least it works. Alright, here's an interview, man. Oh, the man who please endured it all. Please don't tell me you saw any of that last little bit because it was terrible. Like, no? Am I, no, am I, I, I kind of just came here. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> it just went like this. Whoa. It started off okay, then it went, whoa, boom. My shoulder is destroyed. <laughs> destroyed, okay. It is destroyed. Good, I good. know exactly. As, I said, as you said, like, you right endured now. this all. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'm just like, I'm not I'll tell you right now, you made the right decision not to come. <laughs> not to come. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Uh, very good. Good, good, good. This yeah, is my friend it, Jersey. It, it, took, it took me two days to learn that I need to move on. Move on clay. Then third day. Still cannot have moved on clay. Third day was okay. Yeah. Then the fourth and fifth, I just can't move because they don't have energy. Yeah, they have stuck. Yeah. It's the energy. It's so the energy. I, I think, do, but I I think this it. is a common theme with a lot of like a students wooden, moving wooden, here to the academy. Like, just you know don't have energy by the fourth or fifth day. So yeah, that's why I'm just taking today off. <laughs> Skipping. Yeah.
Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I ever showed you the um, Wimbledon restaurant. This is where we eat lunch every day, right here. Wimbledon uh, buffet lunch, 16 euros. Um, and it's basic buffet, we're here early because it's one o'clock. We're here dead on one o'clock, Marco needs food. And uh, here are some of the, the initial food. Cheeses. Cheese, all kinds, great. This is the Rafael Nadal Museum. I'm inside. It's basically right next to the residence. And uh, there is a virtual racing game, which I'm not quite sure why this has happened. Why does this have anything to do with the Rafael Nadal Museum? I don't know. Uh, probably to test that you have good reaction, maybe. Um, I guess there's also mountain biking. This is all part of the Rafa Nadal experience. Um, looks like there's an obstacle race that I can do. And uh, here's Hawkeye, there's some photos. This is a chart of why Nadal has won 22 Grand Slams. Uh, these are all the interesting brackets. Well, this one's broken. And uh, they're all here. Um, oh, I think at the back it shows where the significance is. Uh, this is actually Roger Federer's. Amazing. Oh, they have Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray. So basically the all-time greats racket they just donated right here. Here are all the trophies that uh, Nadal won. These are like masters. This is, I can tell this is Madrid. Um, this is Toronto, actually, right here. Canada, Toronto, Montreal. And uh, Barcelona, and ooh, yeah. I see the ship. That's, that's Dubai, Dubai right there. So, yeah, Pre pretty cool. Um, Nadal is a big um, football fan, so of course they have all the football stuff here. Um, looks like there is a Lionel Messi shirt here. That's cool. And uh, of course they have like other sports right here. One week has already passed and we are checking out. It is 4 a.m. and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.